happening again, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck Liddell versus T.D. Ortiz, 48 and 43. The reach advantage, four inches to Chuck Liddell. They are both six feet, two inches tall. But who will stand tall when all is said and done? Let's go into the cage and Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, live around the world on pay-per-view from the fabulous forum here in Inglewood, California. This is the main event of the evening. Three rounds of action this scheduled in the light heavyweight division. Brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions and sponsored by Fred Loya Insurance. Put Fred Loya in your corner. Also, Fight TV, your number one source for live combat sports around the world. And Casameco Tequila, it's in the taste. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, the executive officer, Andy Foster, and the chairman, John Carvelli. Your three judges scoring this bout at cage side, Michael Bell, Derek Clary, and Ron McCarthy. And when the action begins inside the cage, your referee in charge, Herb Dean! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready. These two MMA legends are ready. Englewood, California! Make some noise! Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a wrestler standing six feet, two inches tall, weighing in officially 204 and three quarter pounds. This veteran has 19 victories, 12 defeats, and one draw. Presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world from Huntington Beach, California. He is the people's champ, the Huntington Beach Bad Boy, Tito Stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Also wrestler, he too stands six feet, two inches tall. Official weight, 203 and one half pounds. In 29 professional fights, his record, 21 victories and eight defeats. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California. Here is the MMA legend and former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Chuck the Iceman. Up at all times. Follow my touch gloves and let's do this. Fourteen years after their first fight, they meet again for the third and final time. Hall of Famer versus Hall of Famer. Tito versus Chuck. The tension is so thick you can cut it with a knife. I was going to ask you, is it crazy that we're sitting here watching these two guys fight right now? Man, this is amazing. It's weird. I mean, a little strange. Though. I'm like, wow, right. this is like uh, right. dreamlike almost. What a buzz in the air. The energy off the charts here at the Forum. Man, you can tell that Tito still remembers, and, and Chuck still remembers how to get him. He's got that right hand cocked and loaded, does Liddell. And he's fading away from his lead leg, which makes it difficult. Look, in wrestling, you call it stalling when you back up, because it's hard to take a guy down that moves away from you, because the minute you change levels and take a shot, his hips are already six inches to a foot behind where they were. Big left hand misses, and look at Tito. Feeling the blow. He was feeling confident that, that that swing that did something to him, you know, that, that let him know that, okay. Chuck says, once he feels my power, all those bad memories from the first two fights will come flowing back into Tito's body. And Chuck is having to touch him with something, though. Tito's growing more confidence. 
Cheetah's growing more confidence. At Great fight. You, both of these guys are at the perfect <laughs> time to fight each other. You know, this is a better fight than, than it probably would be. Still got that power. I mean, to commit, which I think will set his shot up better. We haven't really seen Tito commit to a takedown. No, we haven't. But what we, we, we want to see is Tito commit to a shot. We just commit. Oh, there are teeth in the right hand. Look out, down. And look down. It is out. You got Tito Ortiz. Wow. Just Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell. Good right. shot. Redemption is here. This is what Chuck Tito did. That's part of his act. Yeah, they're trying to stop him. Oh. That's Tito's guy's thing, man. Yes. Let him have his moment. 14 years for it. Yeah, big punch. Start to believe in his hands. Earlier than around, he missed a big punch and almost fell down, almost spun him out. But then he went off of that and I'm said, you know what? Doctor, I'm let him have it, and he unloaded a, uh, a big shot on Chuck Liddell. Leveling Chuck Liddell. He did it the way that Chuck did it to him. Beat him up against the cage, and it was over. Let's watch it again, Rashad. Take us through. Yeah, you see him just right here slipping underneath and then coming right there with the straight, right, not finding it there, but then coming back right there and catching Chuck flush right there on the nose and the mouth there and they put Chuck out and he goes in there for a little extracurricular but then the referee covered it pretty well and then it, as you see here Chuck was initiating a combination here and in the exchange right here you see Tito come back with a big right hand a lot of power and just completely crumbles Chuck Liddell to the and now the extra punches on the way down and you see here once again the big right hand Chuck Liddell falls to the ground and you know Tito Tito kept the pressure on from the beginning of the fight and didn't go to the takedown he wanted to knock out Chuck Liddell he wanted in the fashion that he's gotten it twice and today was a big day of redemption for Tito Ortiz he can retire in peace knowing that he's closed out a chapter in his life with a big win over one of the best to ever do it Chuck Liddell well Tito Ortiz says this will be his last fight hopefully for Chuck Liddell it's his too Tito Ortiz gets his redemption and he did it just the way he said he would by knockout Absolutely, I mean these two old guys in here fighting, but you felt the passion you felt the hard work and out the people came To see these guys fight in that 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 is a remarkable Let's send it back into the cage now and Joe Martinez Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Four minutes, 24 seconds, round number one. We have your winner by KO victory. He is the Huntington Beach Bad Boy.